All right, guys, welcome into the DNVR Rockies podcast. I am your host, Susie Hunter, and we have a show for you today. It's going to be a Friday show. It's going to be a chill show. We are going to talk about all the exciting things happening this week in the world of postseason baseball and also what's already happening right now in the world of Arizona Fall League. And of course, we've got some rocks playing abroad. Got a bunch of them in Mexico right now playing. But yeah, that's what we're going to get into today. I'm your host, Susie Hunter. We've got Tiff producing today. Hi, girly. How are you? Hi, girl. Good. How are you? Oh, you know, just having a lovely Friday afternoon with you. You know what? I think this has been a lovely Friday afternoon. Tiff's so fun to work with because (laughs) um, uh, we, uh, you know, we've been talking, we've been talking a lot about girl math, girl math, boy math. That's kind of the theme of the show today. We will, we will get into this. So if you are watching the show and you are not familiar with the term girl math, it's kind of like all over the internet. So now we got girl math, we got boy math, we got so many memes uh, sprouting out of this. But what is Rocky's math? We're going to talk about it just a little bit. So if you have some input, hop in the comments, let me know. But we're going to have a fun little show. We're going to keep it short. I have to go to New York tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean in a couple of hours. I was going to say, tomorrow, you mean like you were literally (laughs) flying overnight. Yeah. I arrive in New York tomorrow. I leave in a couple of hours. I have a wedding to go to in about 20 hours. Love that for you. And I'm here in Denver for you guys. And I don't know when I'm coming back yet. (laughs) Oh, well, you'll come back when you come back. (laughs) No idea. Yeah, I'll be back when I'm back. Okay. Well, like I've been trying to like figure out my plans because obviously I would love to see while I'm on the East Coast, I would love to see the Phillies and the Diamondbacks play. That series might not be going on on Monday and Tuesday, but it might be. So if it is, I want to stick around. And if it's not, I'm going to fly back right away. So I don't even have a flight back yet. I'm a problem. I am the problem. Hi, it's me. Hi. (laughs) Um, uh, oh my gosh. Now let's, uh, let's get into, well, you know what, first we're going to get into, uh, before we get into girl math, boy math, etc. let's talk about some more Rockies getting recognized. So of course we got the news this week that the Rockies have three, they have three gold glove finalists on a 103 loss team. Mind you, that just goes to show like we've got the pieces there. We just got to do the right thing with them. But Now, in addition to those gold glovers, we also have a rookie named to MLB Pipeline's all-rookie team and the guy from the Rockies who made it, Nolan Jones, a player that we have been talking about so much. So impressive that he has made this all-rookie team, especially because we, we mention this all the time, so it's probably not your first time hearing it, but this guy wasn't even an outfielder a year ago, didn't even think about playing the outfield. And honestly, as a teenager, didn't even really think about baseball because he was a hockey guy. So uh, what an athletic young man leading us into the future of the Rockies. Uh, Very exciting stuff. Congratulations, Michael. Michael. (laughs) Congratulations, Nolan Jones. Sorry, we will talk about Michael Tolley in a little bit. (sighs) All right. Let's talk about some transactions. It's transaction season. Every team is doing this where they are clearing room on their rosters because you can't have guys on the 60 day in the off season like this. Um, so the Rockies have outrighted pitchers, Matt cook, Carl Kaufman and Ty block. So that means they're off the 40 man still in the organization. I believe they've cleared waivers so they could stick around. They could declare free agency. Uh, Ryan Rollison though, another one of those guys, he was uh, taken off the 60 day Ross 60 day. I L today taken off the 40 man roster outrighted to triple a this happened earlier today ryan rollison is one of those those pitchers those like first round pitchers that the rockies have drafted so just oh my gosh what a what a journey this could has been on we i had to like kind of timeline it out because this he's gone through so many injuries that has been kind of the defining feature of his career right now is his injuries, which you never want to see kind of like, it kind of reminds me of David Dahl, the way this guy has had some like really weird stuff happen. But of course, uh, so he was the, uh, for, he was the first round pick in the 2018 draft 22nd overall. Okay. So 
Then, of course, in 2020, there was no minor league season, so he just lost all of that, as with many other minor leaguers. And then he missed two months in 2021 after an appendectomy. He had to get his appendix out. So that is, like, so strange. That's just random. Like, no one, this, uh, yeah, but it sounds painful. Anyway, so the Rockies then added him to the 40-man in November of 2021 so he wouldn't get uh, snagged in that Rule 5 draft. So, uh, you know, since then, he collected a full year of service time because he was sitting there on the 60-day IL for the whole 2022 season. He hasn't even made his major league debut yet. He's already accumulated all this service time. So he was reinstated at the end of May and then optioned. And uh, then his uh, shoulder issue kind of resurfaced. And then he was placed on the 60 day again in July. He made four appearances in the minors this year, just 11 innings. So, you know, the past couple of seasons for him have kind of been a wash and uh, that's super concerning, obviously for so many reasons. But yeah, Ryan Rollison, I hate seeing, you know, these pitching prospects that get drafted high and you have so much hope for, so much excitement for, especially because we here in Colorado need pitchers just more than anything. So to, to lose one like this in such a strange way with so many injuries, huh, such a bummer, guys. I'm bummed. I'm bummed. I'm not bummed about this little piece of Rockies news, though. Austin wins. Austin wins had his baby last week. Uh, he posted some pics up on his Instagram. Little Abigail is here. Tiff, you know what? You know what gift I was given in all of this? What gift did you receive? So the, I didn't receive a gift, yeah. you know, physically. But in the in the birth announcement post, the her her birthday and birth time is on there. So I'm like, oh, I could do her birth chart. So did you do her birth chart? I haven't done it ah, yet. I haven't you, done you'll it have yet. to get back to us on that. If we see, I hope we see Austin wins again because he was he was great to have around. He was a great backup catcher this year. He's just a, an all around. He's a great catcher. He's a great dude. Super nice guy. Really excited that he is a girl dad now. This is his first kid. Congratulations, Austin wins. Um, but yeah, next time I see him, I'll be like, hi. Um, so your daughter's a Libra, and I also know this. This is I got just. She, he will know her big three by within 30 seconds of me seeing him again. Whenever I see him again, <laughs> very exciting stuff right there. Let's see. Where are we timing wise? Let's uh, let's, you know, let, we're going to talk a little bit about Michael Anthony Tolia, who has been playing down in Monterey. He, um, this is the concern. I think we mentioned this a little bit earlier in the week, but he is striking out a lot. He's striking out a ton. And that was his issue up here in the majors. And I'm so happy that he is playing winter ball and working things out. But it's, it's still early. He has some more work to do. So uh, the 17th, what day of the week was the 17th? Was that Tuesday? Tuesday. So on Tuesday... Uh, in his game with Monterey. He's playing first base, by the way. So he had five at-bats. He got one hit. That hit was an RBI double. Other than that, Drew no walks, had three strikeouts. <sighs> Michael Tolia, what are we going to do? He's got a 143 average right now, by the way, in Monterey. <sighs> yeah. I mean, we love the, we love an RBI double. I want a little more power for him, though, if I'm not going to get, you know, if I'm going to get all these strikeouts. You know, work on one thing at a time, Michael Tolia. We, you can't, we can't be having you. We can't have you striking out like this. It's a new era of the Rockies, okay? We're not going to be, we're not going to relive, like, you know, the Blake Street Bombers. We're not going to have Blake Street Bombers 2.0. We need guys who, I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of power for just a higher on base percentage. Can I, can I, can a girl... Can she, can I get a little bit of that? What's a girl got to do to just get a batter with a good on-base percentage in this economy? What's she got to do? Hey, in this economy, um, let's shout out our friends at Hero Bread. I love Hero Bread. I have a pack of the wraps right now that I brought home, and I have been eating them pretty much every day. Like, I've been putting them 
I'm putting my little egg wraps in them. Hero Bread is one net carb, one net carb. Absolutely incredible. It's good. Like it doesn't taste, you know, like sometimes you try things that are low carb and you're like, ah, oh, this just doesn't taste the same. This doesn't hit the spot. This doesn't, that, that is not the case with Hero Bread. Um, they taste just like a wrap. It tastes just like a wrap, except I have the comfort of knowing that I'm a, uh, keeping my carbs a little lower so I can like eat more different carbs later in the day. So even if you're not counting carbs or you're looking to get more fiber and protein in your diet, Hero Bread can do that for you too. So yeah, I will say, yeah, the taste and texture tastes like a wrap. Um, uh, yeah. And it's, they're high fiber, low net carbs. Uh, the wraps are so good. I'm like seriously so obsessed with them. I might make a, I might make a video of me making a wrap. We'll see. But anyway, <laughs> you can get 10% off your first purchase of Hero Bread using code DNVR. That is the exclusive offer Hero Bread is offering the DNVR fam. 10% off that first order. Just go to hero.co, use code DNVR and save on Hero Bread today. That's H. E R O dot C O code D VR save 10% today. So there we go. And then who else do we, who else do we want to shout out? Uh, maybe our friends at Saturday neon who make incredible, incredible neon signs. And my favorite part is that it's a, it's a company that was started right here in Colorado by two friends who were roommates at CU and they make officially licensed collegiate LED neon signs. So if you're a diehard fan or maybe you are trying to spice up your sports watching cave or maybe maybe you need a gift for someone. Guess what? It's the end of October. Christmas is so soon. Hanukkah is really soon. Get on it. What are we doing here? But yeah, they make officially licensed neon signs they've got licenses for you know cu of course but also 19 schools so like if you're not a cu fan you want something a little different they got it for you but yeah it's great for offices man caves dorm rooms basements bar area do we have the sign up here now no it's downstairs i always this always happens to me but yeah, they make great gifts too. Go to SaturdayNeon.com. Use code DNVR. You are getting 10% off of that and free shipping on orders over $200. Sounds good. All right. Let's talk about, let's talk about the Fall League. Speaking of Rockies prospects, we have to talk about the Fall League and Sterling Thompson, who is making a name for himself as our, one of our our most interesting second base prospects right now, but Sterling Thompson getting so much attention right now down in the 2023 Arizona fall league. He, uh, okay. So a little bit of background in case you forgot, he was uh, the 31st overall selection in that 2022 draft last season. He has been so patient at the plate. He's been hitting really well at every level right now. He's got a 549 on base percentage, through his first 11 games, he's got more walks than strikeouts. We love to see that. Love that patience at the plate. And again, like I said, like I would I would rather have someone who's a little bit more patient and gets on base a little more. But anyway, yeah, like Street Bomber days. We're not going to have them again. We're not going to relive them. We had them. We lived them. We loved them. Let's Let's build a different team now. One that works. And Sterling Thompson could be a, t a piece in the future that works. Uh, let's talk about some baseball headlines. We have so much going on in the world of baseball today. But I love this. This was my favorite thing. Bleacher Report mic'd up some Eagles players and had them sitting in the front row right behind home plate in game two of the NLCS and just – we just got to listen to their commentary. Like it was so funny, like being like, Oh my God, like these dudes are great. This is so fun. And they're like, man, how many games do they even play in a season? <laughs> like they just had no idea. He was like, man, it's like every day. Like, I don't know how many it is. I'm not going to lie, but I know it's like every day in like every city. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, they get it. 
they get it. And I love, I love seeing when athletes from different sports in a city collab. That is my favorite thing. I want more of that in Denver. Like if I could just have one thing. Oh, I want like Jokic at a Rockies game. Please, please. Hey, some more baseball news. Gabe Kapler, the recently fired former manager of the San Francisco Giants, is now interviewing, according to a report, he's been inter interviewing with the Boston Red Sox, not for a manager job, but for a front office, not just any front office job. It would be replacing Heim Bloom's job as uh, the head of baseball operations. It's a big gig. So yeah, Boston needs to replace that president of baseball operations job. They fired Bloom last month. Um, I mean, yeah, the team missed playoffs for two postseasons in a row. So yeah, that'll, that, that might do it. If you have that level of expectation, obviously that level of expectation does not exist in Colorado right now, but yeah, Gabe Kapler apparently interviewing. So here, I mean, it might seem a little random because we have seen him for the past four seasons managing baseball teams, you know, between the Phillies between the Giants. Uh, but here's Gabe Kapler's resume before the Phillies job. He was in the Rays front office. He described that role as a combination of scouting and player development. This is all also uh, via a Sports Illustrated story, by the way. But in so he started with the Rays front office. In 2014, the Dodgers hired him as their farm director. And then in 2018, he headed to Philly for two seasons, got fired, headed to San Francisco for another two seasons, got canned again. So he's not going to try the same thing twice or the same thing. He's not going to try the same thing three times expecting a different result. Uh, I, for one, I'm happy that he's going to change pace a little bit. I think that's good. I think it's always good to be like, you know what? Maybe this isn't working out for me. Maybe this is not my strength. Maybe I need to take my talents and put them in a different, um, what's the word I'm looking for, Tiff? Put them in a different environment. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally. I think that's what I meant. Tiff, thank you for Atmosphere. helping me get there. Yeah. 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 All right. A-Rod. 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 A-Rod's always, we, we've got a lot of A-Rod content. I mean, please. He's like, especially in the postseason, because he's part of the, Fox. Yeah. He's part of the Fox crew, the Fox sports crew. But anyway, a rod is not happy that Joey Gallo was wearing his number. So he said this on the Evan and Tiki show on W F A N in New York city. They are always, they're always getting the tea on everything, but a rod who has not played since 2016 in 2021, they gave away A-Rod's number, number 13, for the first time Joey Gallo was wearing it. And, of course, Joey Gallo did not have a good time playing in New York. He That was not his vibe. He just – and then, like, they took him out of New York, and then he was fine again. So, like, it, it, New York, it's not for everyone. Who knew? But anyway, he said, quote – he by he, I mean A-Rod. <laughs> he said – Quote, it did not make me happy. He said that he wishes that they would retire his number. He wants the New York Yankees to retire his number. And keep in mind, no one has retired more numbers than the New York Yankees. They have 22 numbers retired. Like, what do guys even, like, that's like so few options. Yeah, and I mean, that's just got to be why they're, like, not retiring A-Rod's number, right? Because they're like, we're, we're in slim pickings anyways, like... I mean, A-Rod... Okay, so part of the reason he thinks they're not retiring his number is because now that he is a baseball commentator, he has maybe said some not-so-nice things about the Yankees. I don't know everything he okay. said about the Yankees, but, I mean, the Yankees deserve a lot of fair criticism right, right now. Right, Because they're ass. Ass. <laughs> oh, did you think this was a professional take? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. But like, yes, he's been more critical of the Yankees. I'm sure this season because they deserve that criticism. They are not playing up to anyone's expectations. And also, I mean, kind of like the Rockies where it's like, Ooh, they got all these really good players. Why can't y'all win? You know? So yeah, he thinks it doesn't help that he has been a little critical of the Yankees on TV. 
Um, uh, but you know, I'm sure it doesn't help either that, you know, he had the whole PD thing. Like he hasn't exactly been just like the squeaky clean personality either. So, uh, I'm sure that has something to do with it. Also. Yeah. We got to have some, some freaking numbers for actual current players to wear. The Yankees are going to have three digits back there in the end of the century. Um, he also said, quote, yeah, of course it bothers me. It's less about bother, but of course it would be nice to be recognized in one of the coolest places in to be in Yankees history, but that's not my decision. He's talking, of course, about all of the Yankees greats that are immortalized in Monument Park, at Yankee Stadium. They've, got, they've had a lot of stars in their past. A lot of stars who haven't done PEDs know of <laughs> that we know of allegedly alleged yeah allegedly all of this is alleged no, no he was he was suspended for that so yeah you know no. a rod a rod's not allegedly everyone A-Rod's else not al- uh, no, no, no no everyone else is no 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 um let's where are we timing wise on this show we are we're 20 minutes in who okay that's fun that's super fun real fast uh let's should we talk about our friends at Bagus and Shanker? Bagus and Shanker, if you are injured in an accident here in Colorado, no one is going to help you better than Bagus and Shanker. They are winning for Colorado families, and they've been doing this for more than 25 years. The best part is that it's totally free until they win money in your case. And they've won a lot of money for their clients to the tune of more than a billion dollars. That's billion with a B. They are here to help with all kinds of injury cases where you weren't at fault. So car accidents, motorcycle, rideshare, pedestrians, trucks. They can even help if you're injured at work. So give them a call at all two lows, two, 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 to find out if you have a case for free because Bacchus and Shanker wins. And you know what? I feel like I'm winning every dang day with FOCO. They are the leading manufacturer of sports and entertainment merch. They've got bobbleheads. They've got other novelties. They've got collectibles. They've got apparel. They've got, you know, nice little polos and t-shirts. And they have the overalls. The, the piece of clothing for the fall. They have the overalls that... It seems like everyone has been wearing. I love the Broncos ones. Uh, I have the plaid ones. I catch so many compliments on them. People are obsessed. And of course, we know they've got them for Denver teams. They've got them for uh, almost every team. Something in every market, that's for sure. So yeah, again, these make great gifts. Remember that because the holidays are just a couple months away. But yeah, FOCO always has our back with Colorado sports and they have yours to get the best gear around by using the link in our description and use promo code DNVR to get 10% off all non pre-sale items. Bam. How does that sound? I think it sounds good. I think it sounds pretty dang good. All right. Let's talk about girl math, boy math, Rocky's math. Let's talk about some, where's that tweet that you found that perfectly exemplifies girl math versus boy math. I've just been like cracking up over all these, uh, girl math under $5. It's free girl math return to $50 item. I just made $50 the way I see it. Like if I, okay. So if I return something Mm -hmm. and then I exchange it for something else, I'm like, oh yeah. Like I just got that for free. Right. Like I genuinely yeah, believe totally. that. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Like it was a, it was an equivalent exchange. Ergo, I got it for free. This was free. Um, uh, we'll never spend $500 on Amazon. We'll but we'll spend $100 five times. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's very upsetting. Boy math. Return $50 and spend 100 after. Spent $50. And then boy math. Uh, buys enough toilet paper in bulk to last 2 years. Save $20. Um, 30% off sale, buy your supply, save 30. What, was there another one in there? Uh, no, the rest of the other ones that I found for boy math were like the, more, mean. the mean ones. They're mean. Yeah. Some of them are like really harsh. Well, yeah, <laughs> some of them are really, really harsh. Oh yeah. Here's one. 
this one's so mean. I don't date single mothers, but I'll make single mothers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so mean. Boy math is making fun of astrology, but majoring in finance. Yes. Got him. Yes. Got him. Got him. <laughs> uh that's really fun i like that yeah uh so girl math uh boy math uh rocky's math rocky's what is rock's math um i think rocky's math is um uh, (laughs) rock i mean i think typical rocky's math is hey let's trade nolan arenado away with 50 million dollars but then let's sign chris bryant to a 182 million dollar contract that is rocky's math right there if you can think of any others like that, drop them in the comments, guys. So fun. Rocky's math is also, oh, this pitcher doesn't hate pitching at elevation. Sign him forever. Grab him. Get him. That's Rocky's math. And also Rockies are doing the math right now. Clearing some room on that 40 man. So we can be all set for the season. I think right now the Rockies have 34 guys on the 40 man. So, so, not about that. All right. Yo, we got a, we got some games coming up in a little bit. There's a, we got a whole weekend of games. Let's see. We are, also thanks for everyone who's watching live right now on YouTube, on the DNVR Sports YouTube channel. Drop a like. We love likes. We love when you drop a like. So fun. So fun. So fun. No other Rockies transactions right now. I keep refreshing the page, my little MLB.com slash transactions page. Refresh, refresh, refresh. But yeah, fun times, fun times. Let's, you know what? We'll just get this little shout out out of the way. The queso pen. I finally, oh my gosh, I got a really good look at the queso pen today. It's beautiful. It has like this gorgeous little like mountain scene on it beautiful like painting or whatever on it it's gorgeous objectively like a pretty pen and also so colorado oh my gosh and the thing that makes it even more colorado is that it, it, it is the collab of two colorado companies who came together to make the illegal pete's queso pen so illegal pete's and o pen two og denver companies two og denver brands by the way they collabed. They have been, their scientists have been in the lab for decades trying to make a pen that tastes like queso and they haven't mastered it yet. But what this queso pen is, it perfectly complements the flavors of an illegal Pete's queso, which I think is the most incredible science of all. But you should get the queso pen. If you purchase a queso pen, you bring in the box. You can take the box into an illegal Pete's and get a free small chip and queso. That sounds fun to me. I love that. I Tiff, I love it. <laughs> I gotta. I haven't like just gone to go pick up the pen, but I wanted. I want to do the whole experience. I want to see if it really just like makes the queso. Right. I'm like. I'm just afraid. I'm afraid. Here's why I'm afraid. <laughs> why I, are you afraid? eat so much illegal pizza <laughs> like several times a week and I, I i right now i've been just been going hard on the reverse nachos but sometimes i do a chicken quesadilla and then i dip the quesadilla into queso okay um uh, i'm afraid that i'll love it too much <laughs> and that i will never get off my couch <laughs> so I'm, I'm afraid of its power i will try it eventually i just haven't yet yeah. It's too, I'm I'm so scared. The pen itself is But for good great. reason. <laughs> yeah. The pen itself is great. Have not tried the combo yet. I might just like be sitting on my couch hitting the pen, eating queso, never ending loop. Hey Quinton in the chat. Broncos better beat the Packers. Homie, I agree. I so agree. Also, the Packers. Packers come into town. Great time to mention we have a sick tailgate coming up that I'm so mad that I can't go to, but I have a a wedding to go to, and I also don't know when I'm ever coming back. But um, uh, big tailgate this weekend, uh, Broncos versus Green Bay Packers. The tailgate starts at 11 a.m. You know our spot right right behind Sports Fan on Federal between 17th and 18th. Such a great tailgate spot because you get like a good view of like all the other tailgates because you're up on a hill. Be careful. Adam fell down that hill once. It was like very, 
it was scary at first, but then it was hilarious. <laughs> a, that is uh, a tall man to be falling. It was it was so much. I can't believe he didn't die. Like I'm being dead serious. Uh, you you'll be fine. Um, because that was a fluke incident. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, join the tailgate at 11 a.m. on Sunday. Uh, unlimited snarfs, sandos. We got Brex. We got Olipops. We're gonna have a live DJ. Spirit Hound's gonna have some cocktails. Uh, there's gonna be a raffle to win a Justin Simmons jersey. Uh, and I think there's still bus tickets left too. You can buy a ticket just to the tailgate, or if you want to start the party here, there's a bus that will take you from here to the tailgate. So you don't have to do the whole parking song and dance. This is not an ad. I'm just letting you know. What are some miscellaneous things we got to get into? Um, okay. So you know how I still keep track of everything that Cole Tucker does? Of course. Of course. Who else is? probably his fiance, but I, of course I have Google alerts for like every Rocky. <laughs> My inbox is a disaster, but I still have mine for Cole Tucker. Cause I want to see what he's up to. I want to see where he lands. I want to see who he signs with eventually now that he is a free agent. Cole Tucker though, apparently has a pineapple tattoo. Oh, he does he a, now? A pineapple Okay. So I found this out. So I got a Google alert for a story that's actually from like a month ago. Uh, like from one of the entertainment sites. Cause Vanessa Hudgens had an event for Cali water, her like cactus water thing that she sells. It's her business. It's her business. It's her business. It's and her it's also business. like literally her business, but she was talking all about how her fiance inspired one of her Cali water flavors because she's a pineapple flavor now. Gold Tucker apparently has a pineapple tattoo. She was like, oh, my fiance loves pineapple. So I wanted to make a pineapple flavored drink. And she was oh, like, he loves it so much. He has a pineapple tattoo. Interesting. Very interesting. I, I had a friend once that got a pineapple tattoo and it was, uh, she had to make it very clear that it was not in the insinuation oh. of what pineapples are normally associated with. So that's where I thought I was like, oh, oh I yeah, because I saw your they eyes. were swingers. No. Okay, so I didn't know this either because I think pineapple, like I, like I think pineapples are the cutest fruit. Yeah, I like, love that's pineapple. Just, like a thing that I say all the yeah. time. But then, like I heard, like oh, apparently it's a swinger symbol. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh no, I don't want anyone to think I'm down to clown. You <laughs> y'all can do whatever you want, but like leave me out of it, please. <laughs> Hope but you have a so happy like I actually somewhere else I have like I have like all these like pineapple glasses at home and like a pineapple bottle opener oh, and like good. I have like really yeah. cute pineapple decor like yeah. you just have to be careful where you wear it I I do but yeah, yeah. apparently I mean I've never seen Cole Tucker's pineapple tattoo yeah. like I've maybe it's in a very inconspicuous I don't, spot it, it must be somewhere under the jersey or something I haven't seen it I. You know what? Next time I talk to Sean Bouchard, this is the first thing I'm asking him. Do you think Cole Tucker's a swinger? No, no. no. I'm gonna oh, you're just going to ask about the tattoo. You're just going to ask about the tattoo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guys. you gotta, you got to start it out hot. Tip. Do not get a sued yeah. by Vanessa Hudgens and yeah. Callie Water. Please. <laughs> think, no, do you funny. think Olipop can take Callie Water? Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I see them as two different drinks because mm, okay. Olipops are carbonated and they taste like sodas, but they're better for you. And I think Cali, Cali waters are not carbonated. They're just like a different thing. And they're like made with cactus. So like, yeah, like that, like that's a whole thing. Olipops are just like so delicious and amazing. And my freaking favorite little soda to drink. Ah, so good. So good. You guys. Oh my goodness. Let's uh, update y'all on what's happening in the MLB in the MLB. Hi, is this my first day covering baseball? Um, uh, what I really meant, let's see what's going on in these LCS games. Uh, right now it's the middle of the seventh inning in Houston. If you're watching us live on YouTube, um, in Houston, in Arlington, Houston versus Texas, it is Four two Rangers right now, and the series is tied at two two. 
Keep in mind, too, like none of these guys, none of these teams have been winning at home. It's like very much reminding me of the 2019 postseason where no one won a home. Like I think the Washington Nationals did not win a single home game during that whole postseason. And they won the World Series. That's crazy. That's so disappointing for fans, too. Like the fans that want to see the win just don't get it. Well, uh, the Rangers might might get it. We're in the middle of the seventh inning right now, and the Rangers are up. That's fun. Good for them. Good for them. And then, of course, we have uh, the all-city matchup starting in oh, about an hour, a little more than an hour. Yeah, whoop, whoop. But, um... Uh, yeah, we got uh, Christopher Sanchez pitching for the Phillies. And then Diamondbacks, Joe Mantiply, my, one of my favorite names in baseball. Okay. Just because it's so silly. No, it's it's a fine name. It's a fine name. It is a fine name. But yeah, uh, Arizona doing a bullpen day. Oh my God, Joe Mantiply has a nine ERA. Oh, <laughs> what happened um I, I mean I just I'm never a fan of bullpen days I love a proper starting pitcher I I don't think the Diamondbacks win this one that did you watch the game last night I know you're busy with a lot of other shows Tiff but did you catch the the game yesterday I think it was on before the abs so it was kind of just like yeah I heard everybody hooting and hollering it and was insane it was so close it was so close and the Diamondbacks they won that game but and they kept, the thing is like they kept the Phillies offense so quiet like that was it was absolutely wild it was so it felt like uh it felt like opposite day honestly just the way we've seen the Phillies bats exploding I I don't think the Diamondbacks pull it off with a bullpen day let's see how this take ages <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not on freezing cold takes. But yeah, we got lineups. We Philly's lineup looks pretty much the same. Yeah. 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 I'm surprised. I just didn't realize that Mantiply had a 9.00 ERA right now. That is a uh, That's rough. All city matchup though. I Yeah. You know what? I think this is a great time to to kind of wrap this up a little bit wrap this up i mentioned the tailgate guys get some tickets for that tailgate this sunday at 11 a.m you will not want to miss it it is going to be a big tailgate packers fans travel well so we need all the broncos fans we can get in and around the stadium how does that sound no matter how bad the broncos are you should go and support them you should it's your duty as a sports fan in denver i won't be there though <laughs> Because I have to go to a wedding. Um, Tiff, what are you going on this weekend? Um, the Avs play the Canes tomorrow. I hate, hate the Canes. We hate the Canes. I hate the Canes so much. Yeah. Why? Oh, my gosh. So the Carolina Hurricanes. Tell me about the Carolina Hurricanes. Oh, boy. Okay. No, I thought we were going to close out. Uh, the we Carolina can, Hurricanes uh, used to be the Hartford Whalers. And right, as we know, right. a big you Hartford love, girly. Yep. Um, so the Hartford Whalers, uh, owned by the Carmonos family, they, the, that family, that ownership group made it so difficult for fans to like get season tickets or just get regular tickets. So the, the stadiums looked empty and they were like, ah, you know what? No one's going to these games. We're going to move. So that's fucked up. Hate that. Didn't know that's so how that happened. Up. And of course, you know, they, that's like the only major league team that Connecticut had. Too. Right. So yeah. 1997, they moved that or yeah. 1997 was the last Whalers game. Uh, but the really funny thing is, which I just think like this wasn't planned. Mm. This was an accident, but this, this just shows you how crazy life is. The last Whalers game was April 13th, 1997. The first Hartford Yard Goats game, April 13th, 2017. Exactly. What? 20, That's pretty cool. 20 years later? Math. Yeah. yeah. 20 years. That's cool. So, and that wasn't planned too, because the first game, the first Yard Goats game was supposed to be in 2016, mm. not 2017. That's pretty cool. 
pretty cool. I thought it was really cool. It was like a really weird moment, especially because there was no way it was planned because it literally went against all of the, the plans that were already made. So I hate the hurricanes and I hate, I hate that they wear the throwback whalers they, jerseys they, after destroying the whalers legacy. Yeah, they milk that whalers jersey all the time. Literally, it's crazy. I, could, I could throw up. I could throw up. <laughs> I think I, I'm pretty sure that the people who have run the uh, like social media accounts for the Carolina Hurricanes um, have asked me to stop being so mean to them. <laughs> I'll be I'm mean. Uh, you well, but they yeah, deserve it. Yeah, they kind of deserve you know, it. They deserve it. It's the canes. It's the canes are terrible. They're terrible. Um. All right, go abs, go Tiff. Uh, what is your Twitter handle so we can follow you? Uh, it's Tiffany with an I underscore Tano on Twitter. On Twitter. All right, guys, you can follow me at the Susie Hunter on all platforms. Make sure you are following along at DNVR underscore Rockies. We will keep you posted on all of the postseason action. All right. And um, uh, you know what, Tiff? You know what I like to say about what Bud Black likes to say about closing out a baseball podcast? What does Bud Black like to say? He says... Fuck it, we ball. Guys, we will be back Monday at noon here on the DNVR Sports YouTube channel. Talk to you later.